Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fortnite. I'm your host, Stone Alive, and today's episode is a skin reveal. So let's jump off this bus and get this video started. Okay, so yesterday they revealed this skin, and today we get him. Right in. Oh, wow, they did a good job on him. He looks awesome. I cannot wait to use him. He looks really, really good. Just at this picture, looking at him, I'm just, I'm impressed. I think they could have done a little bit better job on his face, but he looks really freaking good. Okay, well, let's go and check him out in the item shop, and then I will do um, in-game play for you guys and gals. Okay, so that was pretty cool. I showed that in my last video for Snake as well, but I figured I'd show it again just to show off that we got that video yesterday. But here he is in the item shop. He is 1,800 V-Bucks, which I think is quite a lot for him, to be honest, because he's just two styles, which is just a mask on his face. Nothing else changes on him. He's not reactive in any way. They messed up his shoes. He's supposed to have web feet, but he's supposed to have like it he's got a scuba suit on. He so he doesn't have boots. He's supposed to have like flat feet, not heels. So that's that's messed up. That's not supposed to be like that. I have quite a few figures of him. His feet don't look like that. Anyways, um, yeah, they're supposed to be flat. The mask is right, though. They did a good job on the mask. The mask looks awesome. That's exactly the way it looked like in the game, too. They did a really good job on him. He should be a little smaller than what he is, though. Not by much. But yeah, he looks really good. This is the character you get for the second half of Metal Gear 2, Sons of Liberty, Raiden. I know a lot of people say Raiden, but it's Raiden. They even say it in the game, Raiden. So this is his back bling. That was the last skin I was using. And there is his sword which he gets at the end of the game. <laughs> and then there's his wrap. I'm, it sucks that they show it on a uh, on the boat. I don't know why. I feel like this should be 1,200, not 18. Okay, so let's go to a game. We'll jump into a game. I'll do first without his mask, and then I'll do with his mask. Though technically it's reverse in the game, the Metal Gear game. I'm going to do it this way. Just because. Okay, so I'll do him jumping out of the bus first, just so you can see what he looks like for free falling. That just happens to be the glider. He doesn't come with a glider, just... A heads up. I just decided to go with the parachute glider. It's nighttime right now in the game, so it's a little harder to see, so I'll just fast forward it to daytime. Okay, I'm in the shade, but it is daytime. So nothing special, the same as like most swords that are this style. And now I'll just take out or eliminate a few enemies just to show you that. 
Savage what? What did that say? Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh my god. Sorry, it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning. I've been up on the, talking on the phone. I was doing this when I got home from work, which was around 11, and I've been on the phone talking ever since. I was editing this, too, at the same time. Okay, so here is him with the mask on, his scuba mask. Honestly, looks amazing with and without it, so I'm not bothered there. I will say this, I was hoping that he was going to get his um, other style, which would be the way he looked in um, Metal Gear 4. But I guess in Metal Gear 4, he actually did have these weird high heel looking shoe things. It was bizarre. <laughs> But I guess the function was so that he could hold his sword with his feet. Look at that. We got ourselves Solid Snake here. Hey, Solid Snake. I'll watch your back, bro. Whoop. And no one will know I'm here. <laughs> the stealth for this... It's pretty cool. I feel like they're going to change it, though. All right, so I'll show you his pickaxe. Nothing special. I thought that maybe they'd see, like, something from it, but that's yeah, pretty plain. Wow. So I'll show you a few eliminations with uh, this again, just like I did for the first style. Sorry, Turtle. Leonardo. I think that was. I think that was the second time I took him out. Yeah, I really like both skins. Metal, or Metal Gear. <laughs> Solid Snake and Raiden. They both look really well done. Color me impressed. How many times do you have to shoot someone with a shotgun? Good lord. All right, well, that is it. They did an awesome job on both skins, both styles for Solid Snake and for Raiden. I am so impressed with this. I hope they add more characters. I would love to see Liquid Snake, uh, which is Solid Snake's brother. He's actually the opposite of him. Looks the same, but he's the opposite, if that makes any sense. Um, I want to see them add Vamp. He's from the second game, where they introduced this character, Raiden. Um, it'd be cool to see Ocelot as well. I I'm actually shocked that they didn't add, um, oh God, I'm brain farting on her name now. She's in the fourth game and she's in the first Metal Gear Solid game. And I am brain farting on her right now. Red hair, she's looked up the snake. I forget her freaking name. I can't believe I forget her name. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'm surprised they didn't add her either. There's a few characters I feel like they should have added to this game, or they could have added to this game that they haven't, but I hope they do. Fingers crossed that they do. But yeah, like I said, I love these characters. I love the Metal Gear games. They're so much fun to play. If you like stealth games, then I would highly suggest trying those games out. They actually did release them. Uh, I play on the PS5. Uh, I do know they released Metal Gear 1, 2, and 3 on the PS5. I 
don't know if they've re-released them for the Xbox. I'm not sure. I'm assuming they did, but I don't. On, honestly, I have no idea. But yeah, there are a lot of I I enjoyed them as a, when I was growing up when they came out. They were so much fun. But yeah, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed the the video. I hope it helped you out making decision if you wanted to get him or not. I still think he's too expensive. 1800 V bucks for a wrap back bling slash pickaxe and two styles for him where like all it is really is a mask. So I feel like it should be 1200 to be honest with you. I don't think he should be as much as he is. Um, but yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please slash the thumbs up button. I think I've already said that already. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's like I said, it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning here. I'm really tired. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know down below if you like this skin or not. Let me know what your favorite Metal Gear game is, what your favorite Metal Gear character is. And if you'd like to, subscribe. But if you don't, that's okay too. And have yourselves a good one.